Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my video lesson is on slope and how to find slope of a line in a graph using rise over run. So our objective today is that you will find the slope of a line using a graph, points, and a table of values. Here's what I want you thinking about today as we work through our problems. What does the slope of a line tell you about the line? So slope of a line measures the steepness of a line. So in your real world, I imagine that you have either seen or heard of a ski mountain. We live near a ski mountain, so my students regularly understand this. But slope is just like ski slope. So when you look at a mountain, and if you've ever visited, you see that there's different colors for different slopes. Green is usually their easier slope because it's less steep. Then you go to the intermediate or blue, which is a little bit more steep. And then you have your black diamond, which is really steep. So if you're not somebody who's a daredevil or you haven't been skiing for very long, you think black diamonds are really hard and most likely because they're so steep. So slope in math is very much like a ski slope. So we use in math the variable m to represent slope. Slope is a ratio. Building on what we've learned since the beginning of this unit, slope is also a rate of change between any two points on a line. And slope is the ratio of the change in y over the change in x. So we refer to this change in y as our vertical change. It's our rise, you're going to hear that. So you think about your vertical axis, your y-axis, as a vertical number line. So we're going to see how far we go from one point to another vertically. And change in x is our horizontal change, where we use the x-axis as a horizontal number line to see how far we go from one point to another horizontally. And then building on our previous learning and our previous lesson in this unit, we're talking about the constant of proportionality, which now I'll tell you and you can discover that that is a very special slope. So a, the line that passes through the origin is a proportional relationship that has a constant of proportionality k, and that constant of proportionality k is the slope of the line. Now let's find slope of a line. We're going to use the fact that our slope, referred to as m, is equal to the ratio of rise over run. Rise, remembering, is our vertical change. So if we look at the graph, we start at, I'm always going to start at the most left point, and we're going to rise. This is our vertical change. How much do we have to rise or rise vertically, go up from one point to another? And then over, our denominator here in our ratio, is run, which represents our horizontal change. So we're risen here to get to this point vertically, and now horizontally we're going to run to the point. And that distance that we run is our denominator, or our horizontal change, our run. Let's put this to work. So again, we have our slope is equal to the ratio rise over run. So let's go identify our rise. We're going to start at the left point. And we're going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4. So my rise is 4. I went up vertically 4. Now we're going to run horizontally to the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's go write our ratio. Our rise is 4, our run is 6, and this can be simplified. Both the numerator and denominator are divisible by 2, giving me a slope in simplest form of 2 thirds. Now watch here. If I go over to my point and I rise 2, because my numerator is the rise and my denominator is the run, watch this. Rise 2, 1, 2, 3, I'm on the line. Rise 2, run 3, I'm on the line. Rise 2, 1, 2, 3, on the line. So if you've found your slope correctly, this will always work. It's kind of like making a staircase on your line. Now it's your turn. I would like to you to pause the video here, find the slope of the line, and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. 
So we're going to use this ratio, rise over run. So let's go find our rise. We're going to start at the leftmost point, and we're going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we're going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's write our ratio. Our rise is 6, and our run is 5, and that's in simplest form. So I like to have my students leave this as an improper fraction, so it's showing our ratio of rise over run. I would prefer that my students do not write this as a mixed number. Please leave it as an improper fraction in simplest form. Now let's talk about slope and equivalent ratios. So I referred to that staircase. Let me show you how we can make different staircases on the line, and all of the slopes have equivalent ratios. So the slope between any two points on the same line will be the same ratio. Now I have one, two, three, four, five points plotted and the line going through it. If I asked you to find the slope of this line, you could pick any two points. You could pick these two points. You could pick the first and the third. You could pick the second and the fourth. You could pick the first and the fifth. We could do anything. Let me show you some relationships here. So we're going to use rise over run. And let's go ahead and do our vertical. So we're going to start at our first and go to our second point. And we're going to rise three and run two. So we know that we can write the slope of this line is rise of three over two. Three halves, and that's in simplest form. And we can keep going. Rise three, run two. Rise three, run two. And rise three, run two. And there's our staircase. And each one of these ratios of rise over run is three over two. But we could also start at this point right here. And if we do that, we're going to rise 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if I go up 2 points, and go over 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would give me, if I used this point and this point, the 2nd and 4th, my rise is 6 and my run is 4. But it's not different. If I simplify this, these are both divisible by 2, I get 3 halves. So 6 fourths is equivalent to 3 halves and is 3 halves in simplest form. Now let's do one more. Let's start at this lowest one, the most left, and go to the highest point. So we're going to rise and we're going to go up 12. And then we're going to run and we're going to go to the right 8. So our rise is 12 and our run is 8. 12 over 8. Both of these are divisible by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 12 eighths in simplest form is 3 halves. So whichever two points you pick will all simplify to the same ratio. And these are also, later on in math you'll find out, these are all what we call similar triangles. Very cool. So now let's find the slope using two points. So find the slope of a line that passes through the points negative 2, negative 2, and 3, 1. So the first thing we want to do is plot our ordered pairs. So negative 2, negative 2 first. Negative 2, so we're going to go left 2 and down 2. And then we're going to go 3, 1. So we're going to go to the right 3 and up 1, and then connect with a line. Now we're going to remember that our slope is the ratio of rise over run. So let's go find our rise. We're going to start at the leftmost point, and we're going to rise 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So rise is 3 over our run of 5, and that's in simplest form. Now it's your turn. I would like you to find the slope of a line that passes through these points. So go ahead and plot them and find the slope using rise over run. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and plot our points first. We're going to do negative 3, so to the left 3, and up 2. Plot the other one, 2, 4. So we're going to start the origin. We're going to go right 2 and up 4 and connect it with a line. Now, slope is our ratio, rise over run. So we'll start at the leftmost point, and we're going to go up 1, 2. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our rise is 2 and our run is 5. 
be very careful. Students often do these upside down or backwards. So make sure your rise, your vertical, is your first thing. All right, now let's look at a table of values. We've been given the table and we've been asked to graph the data in the table and then find the slope of the line. So in previous videos, we learned that every one of these entries, these rows, is in a set of ordered pairs. So we're going to graph these first. So we have the ordered pair negative 1, negative 7. When x is negative 1, y is negative 7. So we're going to start at the origin. We're going to go left negative 1 and then down 7 for negative 7. The next ordered pair is positive 1, negative 1. So we're going to go right 1, down 1 for negative 1. And our last one is 3, 5. So we're going to go to the right 3 and up 5 and connect with a line. Don't forget, slope is our ratio of rise over run. So let's start here. We're going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and run 1, 2. So our rise is 6 over our run of 2, and we simplify to a slope of 3. And remember, if you wanted to, we could check that. Let's go 1, 2, 3. Don't forget, 3 has a denominator of 1. 1, I'm on the line. 1, 2, 3. 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Kind of like magic. Now it's your turn. I would like you to graph the data in the table, find the slope of the line, and come back and hit play to check your work. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and plot our points. We have the first ordered pair is negative 6, negative 6. So we start at the origin. We're going to go left for negative 6 and down negative 6. Then negative 2, negative 4. Start at the origin, left 2 for negative 2, and down 4 for negative 4. And then we have 4, negative 1. So at the origin, we're going to go right for positive 4 and down to negative 1 and connect with a line. Now, slope is the ratio of rise over run. So let's start at our point over here, and we're going to rise. This time I'm going to go up all the way. I'm going to skip this middle point. One, two, three, four, five, and then to the right, ten. So you can also use your vertical axis and your horizontal axes as a number line. So if I go from negative six to zero, that's six, and then four more to get to four is ten. So use your x-axis and your y-axis to help you count. So rise is 5 over our run of 10, and that simplifies to 1 half. Let's check that. Rise 1, run 2. Rise 1, run 2, 1, 2, up 1, over 2, rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2. Now I also want to show you that if I rise from this point to this point, I'm rising 2, and I'm running 4. 2 over 4 simplifies to 1 half. Now let's look at rising from here to here. So I'm going to rise 3 and run 6. 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 over 2. So you can see that it doesn't matter if you picked two different points than I did. We should have ended up at the same simplified slope of 1 half or 1 over 2. So there you have it. That is slope using rise over run. I'm so happy that you joined me today. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come back soon for more where we continue to master math one video at a time here at The Magic of Math. Have a great day.